All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So you can see we just got finished at Home Depot. I had to pick up a few things because we are finally going to finish the conversion kit today because the wheels did come in and man, do they look freaking amazing. I love those wheels. They look so good. Um, so the wheels came in. So here in just a second, I'll show you what they actually look like. But I had to stop at Home Depot to get a grinder because we do have to grind a few spots in order for the 50 inch wheels to completely fit around the kit. So picked up a grinder and I also picked up some Plasti Dip. Actually, this is Flexi Dip. This is Rust-Oleum's brand. Um, pretty much same thing though, because the wheels are chrome and I don't want to paint over the chrome finish. So I think I'm just gonna, I'll see how they turn out, but I'm just gonna Plasti Dip the centers and I'm gonna leave the beadlock chrome, the beadlock ring on the outside. I'm gonna leave that chrome, but I'm gonna Plasti Dip the centers black because um, I think it'll look a lot better. But if the Plasti Dip doesn't turn out good, well, then I just need to, I really wanna save up for the matching fronts, but I don't see that happening anytime soon because I got some other stuff going on right now and uh, some other stuff I wanna do before getting the matching fronts. So I really just wanna Plasti Dip the wheels black to match the front for the time being, but we'll see how that turns out. So I got some masking tape and I uh, got some Flexi Dip, which like I said, is Rust-Oleum's brand. So I got two cans of black, one can for each wheel, and then I got a can of Glossifier, so hopefully I add like a nice, a nice glossy sheen so it doesn't look so chalky like normal Plasti Dip does. Um, and then I got the grinder, obviously. So got the wheels mounted last night. Shout out to Joseph for helping. Uh, he was a huge help, kind of showed me how to install bead locks. It's actually really simple. It's just kind of time consuming with how many bolts you have around the ring. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy to, well, not for me, obviously. It was pretty embarrassing. I couldn't get the freaking tire over the wheel, but uh, Kevin manhandled it and got the tire over the wheel. And, uh, but yeah, actually the process is pretty simple if you ever need to do it. Um, I'm sure I'll have to change the tires sooner rather than later, or I'll take the ring off to get the wheels actually powder coated down the road or something so when that happens i'll show you the process of taking them apart and putting them back together but essentially you just have to get the wheel or the tire over the wheel and uh, just want to get that lip on the beadlock and then you pretty much just put that ring on there and just work your way around the bolts torque them all down to about 22 foot pounds and that's really it it's pretty easy put some soap and water on the back side air it up and uh, the tire will set itself on there so yeah it's pretty easy um but yeah i wish i would have filmed it but i didn't end up bringing my camera over there so shout out joseph though huge help and uh the wheels look amazing i can't wait to show you guys so i'm headed back to the house right now i'm gonna get some diesel real quick because this thing gets shitty gas mileage and uh then we'll be at the house and we're gonna start grinding some of these parts away and we'll get those wheels on today this is what pisses me off this lady just pulled in the gas station and it's a diesel pump and now she's at the diesel pump. You are dumb. Holy shit. That, that really pisses me off. There's diesel pumps and these people park at them when there's plenty of regular gas pumps open and they choose to go to the diesel ones. Oh, this guy's number three. There was two over there. This guy's number three now. Good job, Jimmy. Gosh. Just trying to get some freaking diesel, people. And if anyone's wondering what I'm eating these days for breakfast, it's two cups of this Goline cashew cereal. Stuff's legit. Always the whole milk from Fairlife. Yes. All right, so before we start this, we've got the essentials here. A little purple guava bang and douchebag gallon of water. Let's get started. Okay, I've been really wanting to show you guys these wheels and I'm freaking pumped. I hope you guys like them as much as I do. I really like them. Some people might not like them because they are chrome. Um, but like I said, we're going to take care of that with some Flexi Dip, Plasti Dip, whatever the heck you want to call it. But look at these wheels. Oh my. These are easily the nicest wheels I've ever owned. And maybe you guys don't like Bogarts, but man, these are beautiful. Look at that finish. Some scratches. Shout out Joseph. Just kidding. <laughs> Look at that. Ah, so these are direct ordered from HHP. So HHP figured out the combination for these to fit with the 15 inch conversion. Um, obviously there's some grinding to be done, but this is 
the best size to fit wheel that would fit without a space or anything. And uh, I believe these are the D10 and they're the 10 spoke style. You can get these in just the solid five spoke, but I went with the 10 spoke and this is a bead lock. These are freaking immaculate. So then obviously the Mickey, Mickey Thompson 275 60 15, I believe. And it's the ET Street Radial Pro. So, and uh, Joseph messaged me this morning. He's like, man, only your car could make that tire look small. It doesn't honestly look that small, but uh, it kind of fits. I mean, the suspension will settle a little bit, but yeah. This is a boat. What do you expect? It's a boat. It's a boat. So here's the other one. If you kind of want to see it off the car. Gosh, I'm obsessed with these though. I mean, the quality, Bogart's. Bogart's one of the, they've been around, they're one of the longest lasting wheel companies, um, especially in the racing scene. They just, they've been around forever. So what I wanna do, like I said, is just Plasti Dip the inside part and then just leave this chrome ring on the outside so you can tell that it's a beadlock. So I think what I'll do is just run some tape under these bolts and then kind of wrap the tape up and over the ring. But I wanna get the wheels clearing the TCE Willwood kit before I start plastic dipping these because I'm gonna be taking them on and off trying to make sure they fit. So I'm gonna jack the car up and I'll kind of show you where we have to grind. Okay, so the only spots that are touching is this bolt back here. So what I've seen people do is they kind of angle grind the bolt, which my only thing is when you wanna get that bolt off, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. But that's what everyone's doing, so I guess that's what we're gonna do. Um, and then the bottom of this bracket, oops, sorry. The bottom of this bracket where the sway bar end link is attached to, that needs to come off. So pretty much we're just gonna start taking off some little by little. It's not rubbing by that much actually. So just gonna take some off little by little and uh, you know probably test fit the wheel a couple times and just see where it gets us. Okay, so there's how much I've taken off the first time. So you can kind of see it flattened out the bottom and kind of grinded the ends of it. So we're gonna see where that gets us and put the wheel on right now. All right, so you can see I just angle grinded that bolt head right there. So let's see if that's enough. I think I, think I have to do more, but we'll see once we get the wheel on there. Okay, so you can see I actually need to take, sorry for the camera angle. So you can see I actually need to take off a little bit more here. Actually take some off of the sway bar end link. And the bolt, sorry it's dark, but the bolt is actually, it's barely clearing it. So I want to take off a little more and then take some of that washer off too. But it's it's pretty close. So you don't have to take off as much as I thought you would. It's actually pretty, pretty minute. So I'm going to take some more off this end link and the bracket, and then take a little more off this bolt head. All right, guys, so there it is. It clears. I'm going to take off just a little bit more just because when the way the car's on it, it might move just a little bit. So I'm going to take off just a little bit more, but you can see it's clearing right now. The backside's clearing, clearing pretty good. Don't want to take off too much more there. I might take off just a little bit, but definitely going to take off some more on the bottom here. And then I think we're good, and we'll get to the other side. All right, so we're on to the passenger side. I've already started grinding, so let's kind of see where we're at. So we're pretty close on the bottom. Looks like we need to grind a little bit more down. And for the bolt back there, I think we're pretty good. Might take just a hair more off. But yeah, definitely need to take some off down there. Trying to sit, trying to get level so you guys can see that, but we're close. Just a little bit more actually, so we gotta take some more off. All right guys, so the grinding is done. The wheels do fit. I moved them around. Um, kind of a little tip, make sure you actually, when you put the wheel on, actually put the lug nuts on. You don't have to torque them down, but get them nice and firm. That way they're seated all the way against the hub. Um, because if they're not, you're not gonna know for sure if the wheels are fitting. And then you wanna try and move them around just a little bit um, to make sure they fit. And then also once you are completely done, you know, put it back on the floor let it, the suspension kind of settle, and then you want to maybe have a friend look under, um, 
while you pull slowly forward, but just try and make sure that nothing is touching because you don't want to scrape the inside of the wheels and start digging at the wheels. So everything's set up. The wheels do fit now. Um, I might slightly grind just a little bit more just for a little bit of clearance, but uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully that helps you guys. If you have a Hellcat, sorry, it's fucking hot in here. <laughs> if you guys have a Hellcat or something similar and you have to do some grinding to do a 15 inch conversion, um, hopefully that helps you guys. Like I said, I'm no mechanic, but it's not really that hard to do. It's just more time consuming, but the actual job itself is not actually that hard. Like I said, it's just time consuming, but I'm really happy with the way everything looks and everything fits. Hopefully that you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below. Um, but I am thinking about Plassey dipping the center of the wheels black. So you'll see that on the next video. But for today, that's going to do it. Hopefully you guys liked it. Make sure you always comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at VanV39. And we'll see you guys on the next one.